All right, now let's shift to a growth equity deal. In this case, your enterprise valuation is smaller than total equity because you have excess cash on the balance sheet to fund growth initiatives, and this provides a negative net debt number. As before, we'll grow the company by 50%, but keep the net debt constant at minus 10. Here again, in absolute terms, both TEV and TechV grow by 50, but in relative terms, now the equity value grows less than the enterprise value. The enterprise has a return multiple of 1.5x, while the equity has a return multiple of 1.45x. Effectively, the cash is a drag on the equity value growth, and the leverage effect explains this difference. Because the share of equity on the company's balance sheet decreases from 110% to 106.6, the multiplier is less than 1. And if you multiply the deal's unlevered return of 1.5x by the leverage effect of 0.97, you shrink it down to the total equity return of 1.45x. Plugging these values into the derivative model gives you an unlevered return that's 4.2 million higher than the total equity return of 50, and this is offset by a negative leverage effect of minus 4.2 million.